France's Prime Minister Jean Castex announced a series of new measures to face the exponential growth of the Omicron variant across the country. After breaking all records uh, in terms of uh, daily new infections over the weekend, reaching 104,000 new cases in the 24 hours leading up to Saturday, France is now in a race against time according to Jean Castex, and new measures are needed. But the key strategy here, according to France's Prime Minister, will be in continuing to invest on the country's uh, vaccination campaign. And among the measures announced this Monday, uh, the shortening of that window of time that the French used to have to wait to get a booster shot. The French used to have to wait six months to get a third dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. Now they will be able to take a third shot in the end of a three-month period. Uh, the health pass, the famous pass that allows people to access restaurants and bars and cafes uh, will be transformed in a vaccine pass and that starting January 15th, according to the Prime Minister, if everything, of course, goes uh, according to plan, if the government wins a vote in Parliament that will turn that measure into law. Other adjustments uh, coming up here in France in the next few weeks will involve uh, working as well. The French Prime Minister saying that all employees whose duties allow so are compatible with uh, remote working should be doing so from now on. Uh, big gatherings will have to be limited to 2,000 people when indoors and 5,000 people when outdoors. And the French won't be able to eat in public transportation anymore. So no snacks in trains or metros or buses, uh, nor airplanes or cinema theaters or while standing up in bars and cafes. Uh, Jean Castex also said that more measures will be announced towards the end of this week involving the quarantine period for people who have come into contact with others who have tested positive for COVID-19. Jean Castex did confirm that this feels like an endless fight, but a very important uh, one for France, and that more measures are expected to be announced over the next few weeks. Another emergency meeting will take place on January 5th. Annelise Borges is in Paris for Euronews.